Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can create these kind of videos using rigid body physics in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way if you like short 3D simulation videos you can check out my second channel link in the description. So now without any further ado let's start today's video. So here you can see I am using Blender 3.2 nice. So first of all let's select everything in this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So here I will be using free models from online source, download link in the description if you want to use the same. So first I will import a tire model. So go to this file, import, it is a GLTF file. So select this GLTF and locate the file. So this is the file, import. So here we got this tire. So now we need to rotate this one. So select this rotate option, rotate here, hold control key to rotate it. And let's rotate this here a bit. Okay, fine. So let's place the tire here. So let it be here like this. So now let's add steps. So for that, I will be using cube. So go to this add mesh select cube here. So reduce the scaling, press S, Y, increase the scaling in Y axis and now press s x and increase the scaling in x axis so i think this is fine and let's reduce the scaling in z axis s z and so this much is fine press 3 on the keyboard for side view so now let's place this steps just here below to our tire and let's rotate this a bit so let's add a 5 degree angle here so now select this step shift plus d and let's place that here so this is fine now shift r to repeat the last action so i think these many steps are fine nice so let's add a ground plane now so go to this add mesh select plane press s and increase the scaling and press 3 for side view and let's place this plane just below the step so z z and let it be here okay so I think we need to move this plane here a bit. So let's place this plane here. So now I will import a burst model. So file, import, it is also GRTF. Select that one and select this bus scene, import. So here we got that. So press S and increase the scaling. So I think this much is fine. Press three for side view and let's place this just onto this ground here so here this bus model has different objects so select the objects ctrl j to join them and for this tire also so select the tire hold shift key and select the rim now press ctrl plus j to join nice so now let's add rigid body properties on all of the objects so first select the tire model come to this physics property add rigid body so type let it be active mass i will change this to 50 so let's make this i think it will be more let's make this 250 and shape use this cylinder nice so if we play this now you can see the wheel will be falling so in order to avoid this falling into infinity we need to add rigid body properties for these steps also so select this step add rigid body but in type we will select the passive so now if you play you can see it is colliding so now we need to add this physics property to rest of the steps. So now select all the steps, hold shift key and let it be here. And finally select the step where we have added this physical property at the last. So now this is the active material in these steps. So now come to this object, rigid body, select this copy from active. So now all the steps got that physics property. So select this ground plane, add rigid body and this one also let it be passive. So now let's select the bus model and let's place this here. Okay. And let's play this here now. So now we can see the tire is rolling and it will collide with the bus. Sorry, it's passing through. So for this bus also, we need to add that physics property. So let's bring it here. Select the bus, come to this physics property, add rigid body and make it passive. 
so now let's play this and say so now if we play this the tire will be rolling okay and it will hit the bus so here i want this tire to fall down after hitting this bus so for that i think let's rotate this a bit so that we will get some wiggle moment while rolling so let's play this and say once again okay so here i need to increase the frame rate of cache so come to this scene properties rigid body world cache options and here let's increase this to 350 so now let's bake the simulation so be on the first frame click on this bake button to bake the simulation so once the baking is done you can render this scene out so in this way we can create this kind of rolling wheel animation in blender easily using rigid body physics so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye